The road to Delhi continues with the men's singles representative Leif Selby joining me here. And Leif, no doubt it's the start of what we hope is going to be a brilliant and golden campaign for Australia. Oh, let's hope so. Look, we've worked uh, very hard over the last couple of months um, to try and win six gold. And um, obviously it's going to come down to the day, but I think we're going to be the best prepared team uh, over there. It's been a long road for yourself, obviously, coming through the ranks. You started down in the Illawarra region, places like Warilla. You're now at St John's Park. But let's go over the past three years. You've picked up three world titles, but I'm sure the Commonwealth gold would be the absolute ultimate. Oh, most definitely. Look, to be part of one of the greatest uh, sporting events in the world is just unbelievable. And uh, we're just thankful that Long Bowls is part of it. You had a big run at the start of 2008. You won the Australian Open. You went on, won the Queensland Open, the Australian Indoor. That took you to the World Champion and Champions. You look like you haven't looked back since that time. Look, everybody has a, one of those periods during their careers. And uh, from 2008, confidence just grew. And, uh, you, you know, just hopefully I can continue that or resurrect that um, again for in, in Delhi 2010. The feeling you had in Scotland in 2008 when you heard the national anthem blast out and you could say that you were a world champion? Absolutely amazing. I, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, look, I really felt so far away from home, but at the same time it was one of the proudest moments of my life, yeah. Since then you've been lucky enough to have a couple of World Cups right in your own backyard down at the Warella Bowls Club and on both occasions you managed to salute. No doubt that's been a humbling experience as well. Probably the proudest moment of my life, um, other than my daughter being born, but um, as far as my bowling career, definitely the proudest moment um, I'll, and something I'll never, ever forget. Looking ahead to Delhi, you went there in April with the test event. Things probably didn't go to plan as much as you'd like, but at least you've been over there, you've experienced the green, you've experienced the sights and sounds of Delhi. Does that give you a little bit of self-belief that you go there knowing what to anticipate? Look, most definitely. Um, look, even though it didn't really work out that well for me, I learnt a lot, uh, as I think we all did, um, and sort of know what to expect once we go back um, in full competition, and um, it's definitely a, a, a massive advantage, yeah. So, any one particular aspect about the games that you're particularly looking forward to? No, not really. Just all of them. I know I'm putting you on the spot there, but it's a unique experience, the Commonwealth Games, when you look at all the bowls events, and it's purely that. World Bowls is in itself, Asia Pacific is in itself, but you're there, you're mixing with the swimmers, the athletes and things like that, or do you really just focus in over that two-week campaign and, and really knuckle down and know what you need to do as a singles representative? Oh, look, it's really just um, that period of time uh, where your main focus of concentration has to be. Um, Look, I've been playing for a long time now and all the practice and hard work I've put in all comes down to that one moment. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's gung-ho as soon as we get there. Well, no doubt we all wish him well. Life Selby, the men's singles representative on the road to Delhi. Good luck.